all right welcome back guys to another video well as you can see disaster kind of struck again it seems that I just can't seem to have any luck with these big tanks uh, so this 150 gallon tank started leaking from right about here um, I do not know why uh, it was a it was a brand new tank I bought it last uh, about two years ago or so almost two years ago and uh, we had a leak right about there and I I just can't seem to figure out why yeah, the tank is made by Marineland uh, they've got a lifetime warranty on it um, I've got my sticker right here somewhere for the lifetime warranty yeah it's actually right here uh, I saved that here and I put it here just just in case I need it later on so I'm gonna contact the manufacturer Marineland and see if I can get a replacement um, hopefully that happens soon but yeah as you can see I have my leveler right over here and it's dead it's dead in the center pretty much and it's not a leveling problem the floor is completely um, so like balanced and uh, the stand is perfect I just, I just don't know why this happens maybe it's the fish or something I I don't know anyway what I'm gonna do is uh, we're probably gonna get rid of this tank and find a different spot in the house for a tank we're actually planning on uh, selling this house soon and moving into a new house so I don't know what I'm gonna do with a big tank but I'll keep you guys informed so as far as fish as fish is concerned what I'm gonna, what I did was got rid of the female Jaguar cichlid it was really sad I had to get rid of her she was just breeding every single week and uh, as soon as I take out the babies they would breed again I just didn't have the time to maintain uh, all these uh, fries and selling them to the fish store it was it, it was a lot of work so I got rid of the female um, I transferred the flower horn cichlid into this little tank and today or tomorrow I'm gonna get a bigger tank for this guy hopefully uh, at least a 75 gallon we'll see but yeah he's in this holding tank for now and the male Jaguar cichlid is over here in this 55 gallon tank and him and his uh, a female Jaguar bred right before I right before um, the tank started leaking so I couldn't put two two big fish into this little tank, this 55 gallon. So I just I had to get rid of the female, and um, I've got this guy here with his uh, with his fry that uh, survived from the last batch. A lot of them did not survive because I had to transfer them to this tank. But I still got a couple. Uh, it's about 30 or 40 uh, fry in there that I'm gonna keep yeah it's never fun when your tank when you're having tank problems especially when it comes to leaking and breaking and all that sadly I've had those experiences too many times so that's about it guys that's what's going on I'll show you I'll give you a shot of uh, these fry Let's see if we can get a shot here there we go So I hate to have this guy in this 55 gallon tank, but he's going to have a new home soon, so that's good. And I think he just likes staying by himself. He's probably just going to have his own tank. I don't think I can put anything with him or he'll kill it. The only, the only fish that he was okay with was the female, but they would just breed every single, every, every two weeks pretty much. And it was just getting a little too much. So yeah guys, that's my little update, my little disaster in progress, and um, I'll give you guys an update when I get the new tank or when I get rid of the tank. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, we'll see you guys in our next video.